Before we begin, I should let you know that this is part 9 of a series. For context, I'd recommend clicking on the eye icon in the upper right corner to watch the entire series through. Or you can watch this with no context. That could also potentially be a lot of fun. Ohio had the world in the palm of its hand. With the ever-growing size of its army, the only threat left to it was the potential of nuclear annihilation. Wary of this, Ohio postponed its plans in Europe, and instead focused on taking over South America and the rest of Asia. Ohio sent out a declaration to all of the countries on these two continents, demanding they surrender peacefully, otherwise they'd have to face a hostile takeover. A few countries in Asia complied, handing themselves over, however nearly all of South America surrendered, except for one country, Uruguay. Ohio was outraged by this, as not having the continent greatly weakened them. As per the rules of the board game Risk, if you have more continents, you get more armies. Determined to get this boost, Ohio sent a large portion of their army to flatten the country. However, much like Russia's invasion of Ukraine, it didn't go as easily as planned. Uruguay, despite having a far smaller army, held their own, taking out at least four of Ohio's troops for every one of theirs. Ohio sent more troops in, and despite the holdout from Uruguay, there was only so much they could do by themselves. For every battalion they defeated, a new one replaced it. And for every battalion they lost, there was nothing to replace it. And so, under the crushing weight of Ohio's army, Uruguay fell. Although this was a victory for Ohio, in some ways it was a crushing defeat. The rest of the world that was rebelling against Ohio watched it all happen, and realized that despite Ohio's power, it could be defeated. This led to an increase in the resolve of the remaining countries to stay free from Ohio. All of the remaining countries that weren't already part of the MWW sent in their applications to join, hoping now to join together in an attempt to stop Ohio. However, the MWW and its countries stayed silent as they had been for nearly a year now. Ohio had just assumed that they were too scared to do anything. However, there were rumors now spreading that the MWW was working on a way to stop Ohio. Of course, without the help of the MWW, the countries in Asia fell fast, failing to imitate the strength that had been shown by Uruguay. However, in the midst of this, Ohio received a phone call from India. India offered them a deal. Ohio would tell them the numbers on the front and back of West Taiwan, and India would give Ohio the entirety of the MWW. This, of course, was a scam. However, India had cracked down on scammers years previously and managed to shut nearly all of them down, causing scams to be extremely rare. However, India had pulled these scammers out of jail and offered to shave years off their prison sentence if they helped them form a plan to stand against Ohio. And their plan worked. Ohio fell for the scam, giving India all of the information to West Taiwan, and India immediately used it to take over West Taiwan, growing in strength. Ohio, of course, realized it was a scam almost immediately after it happened, and was furious. However, they had an expert who had been the business of scamming scammers for years, Mark Rober, and they commissioned him to make the Glitter Bomb 27.0. And after a month or so, using help from Ohio, it was a complete. They left the package in India and watched as it worked its magic. And by magic, I mean the thermonuclear warhead mixed with glitter. The explosion sent 107,000 metric tons of glitter into the air. This amount of glitter, of course, would basically mimic the ash from a volcanic eruption, blocking out the sunlight and plummeting temperatures by downwards of 50 degrees. With almost all light being blocked and low temperatures, the morale of India quickly fell until they surrendered the country to Ohio. And for a while afterwards, Ohio faced little to no resistance. Anyone that tried to stand up to them fell quickly. North Korea, one of the few actual threats remained in Asia, attempted to nuke Ohio. However, the nuke that they launched backfired as a software glitch caused it immediately turn around and hit them, allowing Ohio to walk in and claim control. Ohio, feeling confident, decided to once again attack the MWW, starting with Mongolia. However, the Mongolians had recently watched the Disney movie Mulan and took inspiration, baiting the Ohio army into a mountain range and then causing an avalanche that the Ohio army took heavily casualties from. Pulling back momentarily, Ohio decided to focus on Europe and the Middle East. Once again, Ohio began taking over countries with relative ease, cutting through them like they were warm butter that was just taken out of the microwave after being in it for at least 15 seconds, and the butter knife was also heated up, meaning you can barely even feel the butter as you slice through- no, wait, sorry, I, I got a bit carried away with the metaphor there. Anyways, carrying on, this butter metaphor lasts until the country of Hungary. Hungary, which had gone through a coup in 2028, had had a complete turnaround, now being one of the leading countries in technology, and their latest project was developed in the case of a superior army attacking. The Drone Wall 
A modern military marvel that would make most military leaders cry with joy and make most engineers have a mental breakdown. Over 50 million armed drones formed a wall of sorts around the country's border. It had such a tight security that nothing could get through undetected, if it could get in at all. And the wall held up with ease against Ohio's best attacks. Ohio, however, decided to play the long game and turn it into a siege, blocking all attempts to bring food or supplies into the country. And after a month, Hungary's supplies ran out, and its citizens got hungry. However, Hungary had gotten intel that Turkey had accidentally spent its entire government's budget on freeze-dried turkey due to a misclick on Amazon. And this turkey was enough to feed all of Hungary's hungry citizens for months. And so Hungary took a risk, and took its citizens out of the country over to Turkey. They also put the drones on mobility mode, which made the drone wall move with them, allowing them to remain protected. And once Hungary and its hungry citizens reached Turkey, they declared war and took it over, stealing all of the freeze-dried turkey for themselves. However, they quickly ran into a problem. Their drone wall was only so big, and with Turkey, their borders had expanded by almost 300%, causing their walls to be less secure. And Ohio took advantage of this, and used this weakness to destroy the drones and take over Hungary and Turkey. And back to the butter metaphor, Ohio began taking everything else over easily, until finally, it was just Ohio and the MWW left. And so, expecting the surrender of Great Britain, Ohio marched into their land. And this is what the MWW had been preparing for. Well, that marks the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I just wanted to take a moment to announce that the Ohio finale, which will be part 10, should be coming out sometime in mid-August, if not a bit later. It will be 8 or more minutes long, include plot twists, mech fights, and probably a really cool final battle. Plus, I intend to set it as a premiere, so me, you, and everyone else who's been enjoying the series can watch it together and talk. Hopefully it won't be a letdown, um, just like how I'm a letdown to my parents. Until next time, see you around.